Okay, today I'm going to be testing if a rocket works in a vacuum chamber, but I'm not going to be using a traditional rocket. What I'm going to be using instead is a soda can. And so it's the same concept, but the reason I want to use a soda can is so that you can actually see the gas being propelled out the back. So if I used a rocket propellant, it would be in the gas form and you wouldn't be able to see the gas. But in this case, the gas is dissolved in the liquid. And so what you're going to see is the liquid and the liquid is what contains the gas. And so we can actually see the liquid representing the gas. So in a rocket, you have a solid rocket propellant or in some cases, liquid rocket propellant that reacts and forms a hot gas that expands out the back and the mass that's thrown out the back pushes the rocket forward. In a soda can, we have not a chemical reaction going on, but we have a compressed gas. In both cases, it's a compressed gas. In this case, the compressed gas comes from a chemical reaction. In this case, the compressed gas is already present in the soda in carbon dioxide. When I get this under vacuum, the pressure is going to build up and it's going to explode out the back. And so it's going to be under pressure and the exploding gas thrust out this way will push the can this way. So in a previous video, I had um, had a semi deflated balloon and pumped it down to pretty well under vacuum and then released it and showed that the balloon can still fly in the vacuum chamber, but at that same pressure, a drone won't fly in the vacuum chamber. So I was showing how rockets still fly in a vacuum chamber. But a lot of complaint people had is they said, well, the balloon just fills up the chamber with gas, or they said, well, the balloon is just pushing off of the wall and that's what's making it go forward. So in this case, I'm going to prove that wrong because we're going to be able to see the propellant come out and we're going to see if the can moves before the propellant reaches the wall. So the wall of the vacuum chamber is going to be very close, but I'm going to use my high speed camera so that we can see at the moment the can bursts open. If the can moves forward, then that means it's obviously not because it's pushing off the wall, but the real reason is because it's throwing mass this way and that pushes the can that way. It's the same way that rockets work. So let's go ahead and put our soda can in the vacuum chamber to represent our rocket. And then when it explodes, we're going to check and see at the moment it explodes, if it moves this way before the liquid touches the wall, that means that the rocket is obviously propelled not by pushing off of anything, but just by throwing mass this way, it moves the mass of the rocket the other way. Okay, we've got our rocket in there hanging from a string. So we're gonna see once it explodes, when does it start moving? Does it hit the sidewall first or does it move before it hits anything? Three, two, one. Less than half an atmosphere already. Oh, the back of the can's blowing out. Point two atmospheres. Okay, we're at less than 0.1 atmospheres, pretty good vacuum. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That was awesome. Okay, let's let the air back in. See the top just exploded off of there. Awesome. The first thing to notice here before we even look at the slow motion 
is to see when it explodes. See it explodes. The pressure does not go up yet. So the chamber has not yet begun to fill with the CO2 gas. You can see as it clicked through a few more flames, the needle starts to go up. But go back, you see we get one, two, three. The chamber is almost completely covered with the liquid and the needle hasn't even risen from its original point. You can see it goes up a little bit, but it's still under pretty good vacuum here before it even hits the wall. So it's already propelled forward and the needle is still pretty good vacuum. Okay, let's look at the slow-mo footage and see if the can moved before the soda hit the wall. Okay, I'm in my editing software here. Let's look at the moment of explosion. So the next frame is when it pops open. So you can see the can moves. I'm gonna go back and forth. See the can moving back and forth. I'm toggling back and forth between frames. But the liquid is still contained right here. The wall's clear over here. So you can see it moves before any of the liquid, which means any of the expanding gas in the liquid has even hit the wall. So this is purely due to the momentum of the gas and liquid being thrown that way that's making it move forward. And as we move along, the more gas and liquid that's thrown this way, the more the can's gonna move that way. It has nothing to do with whether it's hitting this wall over here or not. This could be here or not be here, it's still gonna fly that way. So I'll click through the frames. I love this experiment. I've been thinking of a long time of how to show that it has nothing to do with whether it's hitting the wall or not. This makes me really excited that I'm able to show just with a can of soda in the vacuum chamber that the momentum is what moves it forward. Awesome. So this shows that not only do rockets work in space, they actually work better in space. That's because there is more of a pressure differential in space. So when you're in the atmosphere, there's some pressure holding the expanding gas in the rocket, so it's kind of not letting it expand all the way. But if you're in a vacuum, there's not that pressure there holding it in, so it can expand more and it can throw the gas out faster and it can push the rocket faster in the opposite direction. So a rocket doesn't need anything to push off. In fact, it's not pushing off anything when it's flying. What's actually happening is it's throwing a bunch of mass this way and it's making the rocket go that way. You would get the same effect in space. So let's say you are holding a bowling ball in space. If you threw the bowling ball that way, it would make you move that way. It's the same concept going on in a rocket. Throwing mass this way makes it move that way. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when the next video comes out. And if you have any comments or questions, be sure to let me know in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And we'll see you next time.